Hello, freshman class of 2025. This is Mr. Shell, the freshman counselor here at Ross High School, coming to you today to help you schedule for next year, uh, your first year at Ross High School. I know it's uh, it can be a little bit uh, nerve wracking uh, coming to a new building, but uh, understand that uh, by the end of it, we'll all be in a new building. Uh, we'll be moving to a new building halfway through the school year. So uh, it'll be new for everybody. It'll be kind of fun. Uh, what I'm going to do today is kind of outline the requirements that you need to take, as well as some of the electives that you can take, um, and get you ready to go for scheduling. In final forms, I have sent out a packet of information uh, to you. You can open up that packet of information and follow along with this video. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, and uh, the video kind of just gives it a little more clarity. As I go through this, uh, normally it takes about 45 minutes, but I'm going to try and get it down to 18 today so that we can get you, uh, you can always pause it if you have, uh, if I'm going too fast, or if you want to rewind it if you missed something. But I'm going to carry on right now. So in that packet of information, um, you have a four-year planner. And that four-year planner looks like this, okay? What we're gonna focus on for this year is your freshman year. These are the classes that you have to take for freshman year. You have to take English 9, you have to take World History, you need to take a science class and a math class. Phys Ed and Pathways are in that as well. Now you may use a, a, um, a waiver for Phys Ed if you would like. You don't have to take Phys Ed if you're in a sport or in the band or in the choir. So those things will count uh, for your phys ed requirement, and you can replace that with another elective if that's what you want to do. We'll get more into that as I as I go into this video. Uh, and as you see here, I have your sophomore, your junior, and your senior years all lined up for you as well. So as you go through, if you say, actually save this, you'll be able to choose your classes each year. But most people don't save this. Um, you just go through the first year, and then it gets misplaced. But you'll get another one next year and the year after just so that you're aware of what's coming and, and what you need to take. So that's your four-year planner. Another page in the uh, packet of information from the final forms is this list of helpful websites. I included that in there because uh, sometimes you wanna look at some things before you decide what classes you wanna take, about careers and planning for colleges and things of that nature. These websites are put out there for you. All you need to do is type the, um, the link and you'll go right to the website and that will help you decide what classes you may or may want, not want to take. Okay, so now what about the info much <clears throat> what you can choose? All the freshmen uh, at Ross High School have to take a math class. You'll either be taking algebra or geometry. You have to take an English class. There's only one of those offered. It's English 9, and you'll all be taking that. You have to take world history, and you have to take a science class. That's either going to be physical science or biology, and I'll get into that in a little bit. You also need to fill up your schedule with electives. Here are the choices that you have for um, your electives. I'm gonna go over them very briefly. Um, and if you need a better description, I will show you how to get to the course offerings book after I'm done here so that you can open up the course offerings book and look for yourself the options that you are, have uh, available to you. So here's the course elective sheet that you have at Ross High School. Okay, these are all things that are open to you. Now, when you go through the course offerings booklet, you're going to see page after page after page of electives. Understand that some of those are not open or available to you as freshmen. You may see a class, for example, photography. Oh, what a great class that would be. It would count for an art credit, um, but you have to be at least a sophomore to take that class. So you would not be able to sign up to take that photography class. So if it's not on this sheet, as you see here, if it's not on this sheet, you will not be able to take it. So just keep that in mind. So just briefly a little bit about each class. Uh, French and Spanish are foreign languages. Uh, you sign up for those and you'll notice out here in this recommendation, if you don't have at least a C or better in your current language arts class, do not take French or Spanish. If you can't pass with a C or better English, your native language, I'm not going to put you into a foreign language and have you struggle there also. So uh, C or better is necessary to take Spanish or French. Um, if you don't take it your freshman year, you can always take it your sophomore year. So it's not a, a be all, you have to take this class. This is an, an elective. These are all options. They're not mandatory classes. These are options. Next up is band. And band takes two full periods. So, and I, it says here four blocks, and that's gonna make sense to you here in a few minutes. 
when I say box. Um, but band is a, a class that you can take. Most people are already in the band and they choose to take it. Uh, if you are not in the band yet, you may have to do some summer remediation in order to be able to take that class. Um, auxiliary Corps takes an audition. Show Choir takes an audition. That's why they're highlighted in that lighter gray color. Um, and the other classes you can just take, um, just sign up and take. Uh, jazz Band, if you want to be in Jazz Band, you also have to take this band up here. You cannot simply just take jazz band. So these two have to take, you take these in conjunction with each other. You'll notice the next options you have is in the agriculture department. All of these that are in purple right here. In purple, um, you will see that you have to, you can only take one of those classes. Okay, so if animal science sounds really cool and so does mechanical principles, you'll need to choose one. You cannot take more than one ag class at a time as a freshman. The older you get, you'll be able to do that. But right now, you will not be able to do that, okay? Introduction to Engineering and Design. Uh, the Introduction to Engineering and Design class is um, basic introduction to engineering. You're going to use CAD drawings, and you'll be just coming up with plans, architecture type things like that. And then you will be designing and building some things in the lab, possibly using a 3D printer things of that nature. It's a basic introduction to engineering class. If you need more information, you can go ahead and jump on the uh, course offerings booklet, which I will give you a link to here in a second. Phys Ed, you need to take this. This isn't necessarily a uh, elective. It's actually a requirement. You must take two semesters of physical, physical education. Uh, open to you is Phys Ed. It's your regular old Phys Ed class uh, where you learn different types of sports. You can do strength and conditioning which is a, a weightlifting and conditioning class, or you can take swim. Um, but a little warning about swim is uh, you will get in, it's a first period class, so you can come to school uh, with your bathing suit underneath your clothes if you want. Uh, then you get in the pool, uh, and then about 10 minutes before the end of the period, Mr. McNutt, our swim teacher, will let you out so that you can dry off, get changed, and get ready for class. If you're one of those individuals that needs a curling iron or a straightener or a makeup mirror or a blow dryer to get ready for school, I would not recommend swim because you'll have about 10 minutes to get dried off and get ready to go for the next period in the day. New this year, we have Computer Science Principles 1 and 2. This is really, uh, really excited to offer this to uh, our incoming freshmen as well as the rest of the school. Um, it's basically a foundation of modern computer principles that go over programming, app design, uh, algorithms. You'll go over the different parts of, of the internet as well as cybersecurity. So these are really interesting uh, courses that you are uh, allowed to take. They're a half a year each. Um, you'll notice in this column there's a 1 or a 0.25 or a 0 0.50. That simply means that's how many credits you get for that class. If there's a one, you get a full credit, and it takes the entire year from September all the way until June. If there's a 0.5 or a 0.25, it's only half a year long. So you may take it from September or August, whenever we start, till the Christmas break, or you might take it when we come back from Christmas till the end of the year. So it's only a half a year long. That's what these are for down here. And then you have the little giant pathways. This is a requirement. Okay, it says graduation requirement here. I recommend all freshmen take this class. It's a it's a careers oriented class. You'll you'll learn different types of strategies on how to interview. You'll make um, uh, uh, PowerPoint presentations and Microsoft Word documents and Excel spreadsheets, and you'll go through the whole Word uh, Microsoft Office software package. Um, you will learn different ways to make um, a resume, building that kind of thing. It's a very interesting class, and it's also required, so you have to take it. And if you take it as a freshman, it gives you some tools so that your sophomore, junior, and senior year, you'll, you'll keep pulling from those tools that you learned in Pathways to write papers, do research, and things of that nature. Uh, we offer, uh, it's in blue here because it's actually a Terra Community College class. It's called Blueprint Reading. If you would like to take that, you can absolutely sign up to take that. It's offered here at Ross. In order to do that, though, you need to have at least a 3.0 GPA. You need to take the AccuPlacer and attend the CCP virtual meeting. And I'll, if you need, if you have to, any questions on that, you can email me and I'll be uh, able to answer that for you 
a little more detailed. Art 2D and 3D, these are each a half year class. 2D is drawing and painting, 3D is sculpture. So, and you need a full year of art to graduate, but obviously if you're not a 2D, 3D person, you'd rather take photography or something else, you can do that, but you just have to wait till your sophomore year. We offer materials and processes in woods, making things out of wood, basically. Uh, healthy cuisine, which is a cooking class, and child development, which is a child uh, class. So all of these classes, anything on this sheet, these are all electives open to you. You do not have to take them all. You do not have to take uh, a, a foreign language. You do not have to take an ag class. You do not have to take an English or uh, a music class, but it's there if you would like to, okay? So to get to the course offerings book, it's real simple. You go to our website, FremontCitySchools.net, okay? And that website, I'm gonna pull over for you real quick here. It looks like this. And you go to schools, which is Ross High School here. And then down on this side, you'll see a course offerings requirements book for 2021-22. That's our next school year. These are, as I scroll down, you'll see lots of different information. Uh, there's actually a page just for your freshman class right here. And then as you move on, you will see um, the descriptions. We start alphabetically with the agricultural department. And here are all the descriptions of all the classes. You'll notice there's a grade level here, um, how many credit it's worth. Art department, as you see here, that digital photo class I was telling you about, it's only offered from 10th to 12th grade, so you won't even be able to take that class. Um, but if you were interested in Art 2D and 3D, then you would find that in here, um, two-dimensional arts right here. And that's the description for it. Well, that's how you get to the uh, course offerings and requirements. Um, booklet. Okay, next up, you should, whoops, we're going to go back. I think I went too far. Yep, we're going to fill out our practice schedule. So this is also included in that packet of information that you did get um, from me uh, through final forms. It looks like this. You'll notice that there are eight blocks, which is eight periods of time. Now, this is where the blocks come into play. Remember, I told you um, when I was looking, when you were looking at, um, uh, where is it, this one, where it says blocks, it's a band, it takes four blocks. So those, those are what I'm talking about when I say blocks. These are the blocks, okay? Um, English is going to take two blocks because it's a full year class. Everybody has to take English. So basically, you're just going to circle this number here, 1100. These numbers are very important. These numbers coincide with the numbers here, which are your, um, the course numbers that you will be putting into the computer system uh, starting on January, I'm sorry, February the 10th, okay? So our next question is then algebra or geometry. If you're currently in math eight, you're gonna sign up for algebra. If you're currently in algebra, you're gonna sign up for geometry. And you just circle those with a pencil and you know which one you wanna take. Science, you have to take physical science or biology. If you are currently um, in math eight and you're going to be taking algebra, you're gonna take physical science. If you are one of those students that are taking geometry and you are a good science student, you can take biology, okay? Keep in mind, I'm going to double check and make sure through your science teachers that you're able to handle such a thing. This would be a, an honors class for you. Same with geometry as an honors class for freshmen. World history, everybody takes it, there's no choice, so you just circle 100. So now half of your day is over. There's eight periods in the day. First through four are your core classes, you're done uh, with half of your day. That does not necessarily mean this is the order you're going to get them in on your schedule. You may have English last period of the day. These are just for scheduling purposes only. Next up, in block number five, you have to choose phys ed. Which phys ed would you like? Regular phys ed, swimming, or strength and conditioning, circle the number. You have to take pathways, circle the number. If you are taking the physical education waiver and you do not want to take a class in this block, you may go to this sheet again, go down to the point fives, and choose a class from there and stick it in that box, okay? So you would choose a class and put it in this box and write the number next to it. These last boxes here, are for electives. If you wanted to choose, for example, Spanish, you notice that on this block here, Spanish, 
is a full year class, full credit. So it's going to take two blocks. So you would write Spanish 5120, Spanish 5120. If you wanted to do French, French 5100, French 5100. And then that block is full. We'll move on to the next one. You take Art 2D, Art 3D. Computer Fundamentals 1, Computer Fundamentals 2. Whatever the class you want to take, that's what you fill in here. And then you make sure you write that class number next to it. Again, the class number is in this column and it is extremely important you get that correct. Because if you're off by one digit, you could get a different class um, that you don't want. Okay? And then box 8, I recommend that you take um, a study hall. So we leave that box blank. However, if you don't want to take a study hall, for example, a lot of the band kids uh, may not want to do that because for band, they would have to write band, 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 because it's two full, two full periods, it takes four blocks. And then they could take Spanish here, or they could take uh, Art 2D, 3D, or Computer Fundamentals 1 and 2, whatever they wanted to put there. Uh, but band does take the four blocks if you wanted to take jazz band also jazz band would go in here and then your your schedule's full so keep a hold of this because once you fill this in completely you're going to save it and then on february the 10th you'll get a second video sent out to you through final forms um, and you will take the numbers off of this sheet and you will using a one-time password you will log into our computer system uh, from home and input all of the classes that you are going to take and at that point, then you will be scheduled for your freshman year. It's a it's pretty, uh, pretty simple process. Okay. So this is what you should look. Oops, this is what you should look like here. You should have in box one, you should have an English class. In box two, you're going to have your math, your algebra, or your geometry. In box three, you'll have your history. In box four, you're going to have your science or your biology. In box five, you'll have your pathways and your phys ed. In box number six, you have either one full credit or two half credit electives. Same with box seven. And then box eight is no number needed because that's going to be your study hall. And your schedule will be full then. You do have an opportunity to take Vanguard, okay? If you choose to take Vanguard, you will have to see Ms. Moss and she will help you sign up. It's a half day, half year program called Career Exploration. You will actually get a chance to see all 15 of the programs that they offer at Vanguard. Uh, for about a week at a time, and then that way you can make up your mind what you want to take as a sophomore through Vanguard. Or if you don't want to go back to Vanguard, you don't have to go back to Vanguard. But it's a half day, half year. When you choose your schedule, you're going to choose it as if you're not going to Vanguard. That way, if you get into Vanguard, it's easier for me to just remove a few classes from your schedule to make room. But if you choose Vanguard on your schedule and say, well, I'm not going to pick any classes because I'm going to Vanguard, and then you accidentally or some person where you do not get into Vanguard, then I've got to come up with classes that you may not want and I got to stick them in your class schedule. So just to make sure we're on the same page, choose your schedule as if you're not going. And if you would like to go, see Ms. Moss, the deadline is March 1st. Okay. If you are taking a Vanguard class, you will not be able to take a full year elective. So band will be out. Anything like Spanish, French, those classes will not be available to you. Any full year class will not be available if you're taking the uh, Vanguard program. We do have a bunch of extracurricular activities here at Ross. We have 14 different sports, 30 clubs, we have drama, we have intramural activities. My message is to get involved. The more you're involved in school, the better you're going to do in school because you'll have a connection there. Uh, there's lots of things to get involved with. If you have any questions on that, you're welcome to get a hold of me. You can either call me or you can email me at this email address right here on the screen right now. Again, you will receive a link on February 10th to take everything from that practice paper schedule, put it into the computer-based model. Um, if I don't have all of those things in by February the 19th, so you have nine days to make that happen, then I will make the schedule for you. So once, once you get your link, it's a good idea to go ahead and get that schedule right away. And then on the 19th, then I will close down the window and I will start making schedules for those that did not get it done. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at any time or during school hours, you can call this number and ask the question. I would be happy to answer them. Uh, hope this goes smooth for you. Again, I'm Mr. Shell, a freshman counselor, and I look forward to meeting each and every one of you uh, this next school year. Have a good day.